Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs. Um, I realized after kind of being a dork and looking at my old videos that I never did the Outland Safari video. Um, this one's gonna be really quick, so I'm also gonna mention a comment that I got for a video um, last Wednesday. So uh, let's just start with the Outland Safari. Um, so this one, where are we here? Collect. Outland Safari. It was the first one I did. Um, or one of the first ones I did. Very, very easy. Um, a lot of these you will get in other zones if you've done Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor before, um, which are the ones that I kind of talked about before. Um, you'll already have the majority of these done. There's a few that are unique only to Outland, and within those few there are two that I felt were kind of, you know, worth mentioning, if you will. So, let's go to Outland. And the first one I want to talk about is the Skittering Cavern Crawler. And the only reason I mention this is because they only show up in these two caves. And they will only show up, um, like, yeah, sorry, in these two caves. And if they're not there, um, the best way to do it is to clear out the cave of regular critters. They share a spawn time with the regular critters, so if there are none there, go through and kill all of the regular spiders that are just critter type, not pet battling critters. Um, and then you should them no problem. Um, the next one is the Sporling Sprout and that one you will find only around Sporagar. There's lots of them and they the respawn time is really really fast so if this one's a really nice one to farm um, if you're looking for a rare and I believe it is yeah it's a humanoid. Um, I have to see I haven't farmed a rare because I was just focusing on getting achievements not on rare. Um, so yeah that's how those ones work. Um, again, those are really the only two that I felt were worth mentioning. Again, most of these you're going to get if you've kind of gone through the other videos I've made and gotten all of those pets, you're going to have these ones already. Um, none of them have rare, none of the ones in Outland have rare spawn times. None of them have conditions under which they need to be there. Um, so my best advice to you is to just, you can see where it is. Um, yeah, it's It's not very difficult. It's 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 really really easy. This this one is going to be quite literally the easiest um, safari ch achievement that you're going to get. Um, so now that that's done, oh hey, I hit eleven hundred. I hit eleven thousand one hundred fifty moves. That's exciting. Okay, um, so I'll kind of tell you what I've been doing the last few days. Um, I got World Safari. Yay! I got the Karaji Guardling. Oh my gosh, huge pain in the butt. Um, so I have the zookeeper title, and I got longest day, which is to do all of the pet battle dailies in a single day. Uh, it's I'm going to tell you right now, it's bugged, so if you want to go for this one, do it now, because I did this over about three or four days. Um, I haven't gotten the item yet. That is a known bug. Um, sometimes they'll give them to you. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. So if you don't get it, um, as of right now, the going um, thing to do is to just open a ticket, and you do that by... Where are we here? going to the question mark. You can see I have a ticket open here. Um, so I got a question on my last Let's Play video, which was technically my first, um, to talk about the add-ons that I use. So as you can see, I've kind of changed my UI a little bit. Um, I saw a picture of someone using this and I really liked it, so I switched it up. Um, so this is Spartan UI, um, and I will type it here. Spartan UI. Um, and I'm also using bartender with it. Um, the, you need bartender in order for this to work, I'm pretty sure, and I believe it's called bartender forks. They're in their fourth edition of it or what have you. Um, the UI I was using before um, in terms of frames and I was using the default bars, the default blizzard bars, but the UI I was using for um, unit frames for party and raid and whatnot was called X-Pearl. Um, so I, ha I don't have that one anymore. I'm going to probably stick with this one. Um, and that's all that's changed in terms of that. I've added some more add-ons and I'm going to go through them. Um, where I get my add-ons, I search for them on Google or various forums or I'm a member of a few groups on Facebook that kind of we post pictures and it's like, oh, that's a cool add-on. Where do you get that? Um, or what's it called? But I use Curse and it's a client and the majority, if not all, of the WoW add-ons you're going to find, you can search there. Um, it's very streamlined. It's very easy. There's a really good search mechanism if you're searching for titles. Um, I really, really like it. My fiance got me hooked on it back when we first started doing WoW. Before there was an actual Curse client, you just had to go through the website. The client is fantastic. I, I cannot recommend Curse enough for that. Um, 
Now, in terms of my other add-ons, let's just kind of go through them here. Um, I'm sorry if I miss any. There's a few that I use and there's a few that I don't. Um, so I, the, I'm going to talk about the new ones. So I have Spartan now. I'm in shadow, so this should be pretty easy. I'm going to go try and find something to kill. So you can see kind of I've got a green bar and a blue bar here. And this is my health pool and my mana pool. No, I don't want green. I want yellow. So this is my health pool, my mana pool, so I can kind of see it without having to glance down all the time. So here, um, the red bar here is his health. Um, the purple bar here are how many shadow orbs that I have. Uh, my cast bar is right here, so if I'm casting something that's not channeled, it'll cast up to yellow. And then you can see this increase because I got a new shadow orb. Um, and then if it if it casts down like this in purple, um, it means that it, it shows something that's channeling. Um, the other thing you can see this really cool little chat here is called... Oh, no, I can't remember. Let's look. Um, so sorry, those ones are called... I believe it's... No. Huh. I will go and look in a minute. But the, uh, the text, the really neat text there is called... Um, Mix scrolling battle text. Um, oh, Arkhud. That's what it is. So Arkhud is um, the one for these. And if I target, there's his health. There's a picture of the guy, which I assume you can move. I haven't figured that part out yet. But you can see a little picture of him. You can see his name, his level, if he's normal or... That's the end for my map, never mind. Um, his health, and then you can see his bar is here. Um, so we'll kill another one, and you can kind of see, so it says I'm in combat, different things. So this applies to um, my health, and this is damage that I'm doing to him. So anything to do with my health shows up on this side. And anything to do with my mana or damage that I'm giving him is on this side. Anything to do with my mana is on this side. Um, so yeah, that's how those ones work. And I really just picked it because I like the look of the font. Because I'm kind, I'm a girly girl, if you haven't noticed by now. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Girly girls can play WoW too. Don't let anybody tell you different. Okay, so before I get all preachy. Um, one, next thing we're going to talk about is... Well, I'll just go around on my little loop here. Um, so I do have a good amount of add-ons. I use Bagnon, which is a add-on that kind of puts all of your loot in one window. I'm sure there's other ones that do it. Again, these are the ones that I use, the ones that I use on a regular basis, the ones that I really like. Um, I use Enchantrix, which tells me... Let's see if I can find an item here. Oh, you know what? I can just do this. Um, it tells me what it disenchants to. So if you see it says, like I'm pointing at my screen, but you can't even see my hand, I can't really mouse over it. So the top it says the name, the stats. You go down it says, uh, Vestments of the Exorcist 105 and only the hand wraps are highlighted, that's for set bonus. The set bonuses, the durability, shift right click to socket. Then go to the second bubble, it says the item level, buy, sell from vendor, sold by no known merchants, class armor, and then disenchant. So Enchantrix adds that to it. Um, and then the next bit is the market price, and I'm pretty, and that comes from auctioneer. I'm pretty sure simple auction auctioneer, and it tells you what um, the disenchanting item is going for right now. Um, if you're selling just base items, it'll they'll tell you what they're going for on the auction house right now, um, what they're available for vendoring, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, okay, and then we've got Altaholic, which shows all of your characters, how much money they have, how long you've played them, what their experience is at, how much rested they have. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, average item level. Okay. Um, and their level. And then you can look at all of your realms, or just specific ones. You can look at bag usage, how much space they have. You can look at their various skills, um, and then just random activity, so how much mail they have the last time you've been on there. This one says never. Um, it's the last time since I've played. It's been a while since I've played my Paladin. Um, this one I just transferred, and this one I barely rolled, and then it's last online. So, yeah. How 
long it's been since you've logged on. Um, so some of these you can see I don't touch very often. I like having a bunch of alts, but that doesn't necessarily mean I play them. Um, so that's it for that one. Um, yeah, Enchantrix so shows you what they disenchant into, um, assuming you're an enchanter. Um, Atlas Loot is one of the best add-ons that you can get. Really no word of a lie. Um, it sorts through um, dungeons and raids for various expansions. You can look at what you get from various world events, different collections, um, companions, mounts, uh, rewards you get from various vendors, rewards from various factions, PvP rewards, um, all the different recipes for crafting. You can make a wish list. It's it's really awesome. I highly recommend this one, especially if you're going for achievements or transmog. Um, Bejeweled is a game. I have Peggle on here too somewhere. Bartender is how I set up my bars. And Archie is an archaeology one um, that says where everything is and how far you are to getting um, the your next artifact complete. And I think that's pretty much it in terms of my ad. oh I oh yeah it didn't show up uh, DBM deadly boss mods deadly boss mods is one that I think everyone should get I, I wish it came as default because it's an amazing add-on and it is the one that tells you when various uh, mechanics of bosses uh, raid or dungeon or just even world bosses um, are about to tick that you need to avoid or interrupt and stuff like that um, it will give you countdowns for when something is incoming um it's fantastic it's it's one that i really think you should get if you're if especially if you are soloing old content by yourself for the first time um so that's it for this video kind of a conglomeration safari add-ons um like and subscribe if you feel so inclined have a beautiful day